What is going on everyone? Scions here with the Everyday Grind and I wanted to talk to all of you about the biggest mistake and the biggest miss I think right now currently in the War Within. I'm in the beta right now and we're going to go over exactly where Blizzard made a massive mistake and it does appear that that mistake is going forward. Check this out. So as we all know, in the War Within, you do get dragon riding or dynamic flying. It's great. Everybody loves it. You can have it on multiple alts, but there's another option of flying. And I want to discuss that with all of you today. Now, if, if you go into your spell book and you go to sky riding and you come all the way over here, you have switch your flight style. It's a five second cast. You can switch between sky riding and steady flight styles for flying mounts. Mounts that don't support sky riding will be grounded if sky riding is active. Or you can just, again, just fly normally like we all used to do 10 years ago, right? Now, you can take this icon and you can bring it down here to your HUD, which I've done. Now, I want to, instead of dragon ride, right? I'm done. I've done all this stuff. I want to do some other stuff here, right? Okay. Well, now I'm going to switch to this other mode. I can't. It requires the War Within Pathfinder achievement to unlock in this area. And this is all throughout the War Within. Now, my personal belief is that Dragon Riding is the best riding available in World of Warcraft. The least amount of riding or the least favorite riding, in my opinion, is the regular everyday flying style. Now, there are some people that like that and they prefer that and it's fine. It's a lot slower, right? And people don't have motion sickness issues with the regular flying versus the dynamic flying. I'm all for that. And the only time I use regular flying is when I'm collecting nodes or something and they're all close together and I'm not just jumping up and down and losing a bunch of vigor all the time. But here's the problem. It's locked behind an achievement. So that means that those people who have issues with dynamic writing have to get an achievement to be comfortable in the game. I think it's a huge miss. It's a big L. And I've talked to Blizzard about it. I've had other people say, Scions, you're right. This seems really weird. We saw this in the alpha. It's still in the beta. And it really looks like this is going to go through into the live game. It can't go through in the live game. Now, I don't know what the disconnect is with Blizzard Entertainment and wanting to control certain aspects of the game, such as flying or alt progression or whatever it is. It's a control thing. It's a control issue. And I don't know what it is. I'm hoping one of you can point it out to me because apparently I'm not smart enough to figure it out. But I think that the regular flying should be allowed right out of the gate. You're not going to get anywhere. If anything, it's going to slow the game down for those people who aren't using dynamic flying. A uh, shit ton. So why they locked it behind an achievement, I don't know. My understanding is that the achievement's really easy to get. I don't care how easy it is. That's not the point. The point is, is you're taking something that's really basic and silly, and you're locking it behind an achievement just because. So what other things could we lock behind an achievement just because? I mean, you can lock talents behind that. You can lock hero talents behind that if you wanted to. It just doesn't make any sense to me. There has to be another option. You guys let me know in the comments what you think should happen here and where Blizzard should go. And again, if I'm wrong, light me up in the comments and let me know. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.